All right, let's go back here and play it as in full first. 103.7 NNJ, here's Pink Floyd. All right, well, now that we are in a bit more steppy, breakdowny modes, I think it's a bit tricky. This is where the where I am more recommending a spline approach, just because I'm going to turn down that volume just a tad. Especially the mouth part is so clackety and, and sharp with all the movements. It's hard to say. If you would spline this, this would be like an up and down, up and down, up and down every frame. So you really have to simplify at what points do we actually need a, a jaw down movement? What can we do just with shapes? NNJ. Here's like the NNJ could be just mostly jaw down and shape changes Here. and with an accent on J. Here's Pink Floyd. Headwise, it could be cool. It's just those moments like here as you go back here and then you have that sudden stop and then we have no movement and i know this is stepped but like once you would spline this you're gonna have fast movement with a bit of a hold and going forward and then going back let's go back here that that's the section there where we go back forward back hold forward not sure i would definitely just for your own sanity spline and then go back spline and then go back so just to kind of double check what's going on i'm concerned that there's a lot of this could be a lot of messiness right now Floyd. same thing with the arms because if you're doing this i would still look at well if i'm doing a move like this and go up you're still going to have a bit more in the shoulder influence because the arm going up and then if the arm goes up you're going to have a little bit of rotation in the chest and a bit of the uh movement up in the chest as well not that it has to be all for real but it's going to be definitely more influenced than this right now i'm just concerned that if you would spline this right now it would be a bit of a, a mess but in terms of the actions and when what happens i think it's cool it's good detail on the fingers it's getting ready and i like that he leans forward and he has even that arm a bit up here's pink floyd and then he has that move going back with the arc. Floyd. The only thing I would say, potentially, acting wise, that <coughs> excuse me, I like that you have this. It's like he's he's almost tense. Like you know, he has to have the energy up and he has to deliver everything. What if during all of this you also bring up the shoulders a bit so that it's almost ramping up the shoulder, especially through here. So that at the end, when he's right before the, the smackdown here, imagine the shoulders are just higher. So we feel a tenseness. And then when you do BAM, and he do, does this, and I know we don't see it because the arms are, are going up, but the could be just a feeling of oh, relaxing and dropping of shoulders. But even that dropping of shoulders could be happening somewhat through here. It might be too fast, just as an idea for you from here drop shoulders into what you have now then into that it might be too fast of dropping and then going back up because you have this happening here because of this just a thought other than that i like that this this might be a bit much as you go back that amount of recoil and impact bam right there i'm just my my concern is that this is going to look like too much of a drag overlap so it's animated versus him going oh, oh so it's a an acting moment versus an animation moment if that makes sense but that's cool and i wonder since we're getting into this that you might need another maybe 10 15 frames to hold like i feel like i want to feel the but that we cut out right away so i feel like you're going to need another maybe even half seconds uh, more than half a second, almost a second at the end, just so to finish that beat of that relaxation. But it's a nice clean pose, the silhouette is great. Yeah, my biggest concern is just the, the flappiness of the jaw. 
and just all the the kind of separate moves like here where things just kind of pop in and out and i know this is the nature of step mode but i'm, I'm to me it's the feeling of stuff like this where it's not a post change it's just one arm moving so you're gonna have to have more you know influence on the body like i said before as you spline this maybe uh email me let me know did you spline this what like what does it look like how messy is it you might have to go spline and then simplify things a bit more but generally uh, the way the the flow is and then the beats let me turn the sound off i think this is all cool i would say either add more details in your breakdowns or spline this of course i'm always more into the spliny camp so we can really see the actual timing and the details so we can really get into the nitty gritty but that's that all right thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you